Hello, my dear children. Hope all are fine and staying healthy. My dear children, we are going to study the supplementary reader Alien Hand Text, Chapter 5 Golu Grows a Nose. This is a very interesting story written by Rudyard Kipling. And this story tells us that. In earlier times, the elephants had no trunks and they got the trunks in late. So, this story will tell us how the elephants got the trunks. So, first point, there was a time when the elephant had no trunk. Golu, a baby elephant with a bulgy nose, is full of questions. He goes to the Limpopo River to find out more about the crocodile's eating habits. All the children, take your text and page number 30, keep your finger over the text and listen to me. Long, long ago, the elephant had no trunk. He had only a bulgy nose, as big as a boot. He could wiggle it from side to side but couldn't pick up things with it. You know children the, now the elephants can hold things with their trunk. They can do many things with their trunk but in earlier times the elephants especially uh, the Golu uh, is a baby elephant. He had only a bulgy nose just like a bulging uh, thing. It, uh, he has a bulgy nose and it is its size is as big as a boot and he could only really wiggle. Wiggle, what is the meaning wiggle? Wiggle means slow up and down and side to side movements. He can uh, only with the uh, nose, he can only move his nose side to side and up and down. And he couldn't pick up things with his nose. There was a baby elephant called Golu. He too had no trunk but only a bulgy nose as small as a small boot. Golu was full of questions. He asked his tall aunt the ostrich. Why don't you ever fly like other birds? Then he asked his tall uncle the giraffe. What makes your skin so sporty? He asked his huge uncle, the hippopotamus, Why are your eyes always so red? He asked his hairy uncle, the baboon, Why do melons taste like melons? The ostrich, giraffe, the hippopotamus and the baboon had no answers to Golu's questions. Golu is a naughty baby, they said. He asked, such difficult questions. So, Golu is a baby elephant. He has only a bulgy nose and just like all naughty boys, this uh, baby elephant Golu also has oh, a lot of mischievous questions. He asked questions to ostrich, giraffe, hippopotamus and baboon. And what were uh, his questions? He asked the ostrich, why don't you ever fly like other birds? He asked it to giraffe, why, uh, what make your skin so spotty? Spotty means uh, the giraffe has spots throughout his body, no? And uh, he asked uh, hippopotamus, why are your, your eyes always so red? And he asked to baboon, why do melons taste like melons? So all uh, naughty questions he will be asking to them. And uh, uh, they will not tell anything. They, uh, he didn't get answer to these questions. But they only say he is a naughty boy. One day, Golu met the minor bird sitting in the middle of a bush. And he asked her, What does the crocodile have for dinner? The minor said, Go to the banks of the great grassy Limbopo river and find out. So he has one more doubt. What is that doubt you know? What do the crocodiles eat? 
So he went to Amena and she will be replying, Go to the banks of the great grassy Limpopo river and find out. Golu went home. He took a hundred sugar canes, fifty dozen bananas and twenty-five melons. Then he said to his family, Goodbye, I am going to the great grassy Limpopo river. I shall find out what the crocodile has for dinner. He had never seen a crocodile and didn't know what one looked like. So, uh, he was very eager to know about the crocodile. So, he was carrying uh, food for some days, uh, which are a uh, hundred sugar canes, fifty dozen uh, bananas and twenty-five melons. And he said goodbye to his family and started his journey to meet a crocodile. And on the way he met a python and asked him, Have you ever seen a crocodile? What does he look like? What does he have for dinner? Uh, he again asked his doubt to a python on the way and he is asking, the python says, The python uncoiled himself from the branch of a tree but said nothing. Gulu politely helped him to coil around the branch again and said goodbye to him. In the picture you will be able to see the python is coiled around the branch of a tree and he, did, he uh, didn't tell anything uh, and the gobu helped him to uncoil his body from the branch of a tree. Uh, but uh, python didn't say anything so Golu politely uh, helped him to coil around the branch again and said goodbye to him.